If you have been around in any Minecraft communities for the past few days, you've most likely seen a message that looks something like this. Crazy exploit. Do not join any servers. Do not play the game. Things like that. But is this real or just some funny prank? Well, dear viewers, by the end of this video, you'll see that unfortunately, it is not just real, but actually far worse than you'd expect. It is the afternoon of December 9th, Wednesday. People are playing Minecraft as usual, but something feels just a bit off. The game is a bit more laggy than usual. At times, the game is not responding for several seconds, and while this is something that can happen normally, it seems to be happening way too frequently for it to just be a coincidence. The more curious ones notice this weird text being sent in the chat. Soon, after the initial discovery, it was found that this could easily be used to crash both games and servers. Behind the scenes, the team of PaperMC, one of the most used Minecraft server softwares, started working overtime trying to get out fixes as soon as possible. Secretly, they knew that this piece of text could be modified to do far, far worse than just crash a game. Once they got their fix working, they put out an announcement and all of their server admins rushed out to fix their servers as fast as possible. Mojang, hearing of this, rushes out to fix the game for everyone, and just like that, it was over. The apocalypse was prevented. So if we try to send this chat message now, nothing will happen, so let me show you. Oh f So yeah. As it turns out, while the vanilla versions of the game were fixed and safe, custom clients, launchers, and modded versions such as Forge and Fabric were still hackable. And what made it worse is that the hackers had figured out how to use this exploit to do far worse than just crashing your game. Opening a YouTube video? No problem. Stealing your Minecraft user? Check. Hijacking your Discord account? Easy. In fact, the hackers were able to do whatever they wanted on your computer. They had just found out how to get full control, and they were not afraid to use it. And do you want to know the worst part? Check this out. It looks like nothing happened at all. All of the hacking was done without you noticing anything wrong. You could literally have your entire life hacked into without having a single clue about it, just for playing Minecraft at the wrong time, in the wrong place. Forge and Fabric quickly released updates fixing the issue, but it was already too late and many people didn't even know they had the update. It was truly one of the darkest days in Minecraft history. Hundreds of players and servers such as 2b2t were hacked straight away. Hacking groups competed against each other to hack as many people as possible, just for fun and fame. In a funny turn of events, Ox22, the developer behind one of the most popular Minecraft hacks, was disgusted by this, so he actually auto-updated his hack to fix the issue for everyone using it. But that was just Minecraft. As it turns out, the reason this entire thing worked in the first place is that the developers of Log4j had messed up. And oh boy, Log4j is used in far, far more than just Minecraft. This exploit worked on any application, program or website that was using Log4j, and this is very, very bad. But I won't be getting into it in this video, because I need to tell you how to stay safe yourself. And yes, if you're watching this video when it came out, this exploit is still being used by hackers, and you must make sure you are safe. If you play vanilla Minecraft, meaning you have no mods or anything like that installed, you can just close the game and the launcher, and the fix will be downloaded automatically next time you turn on your game. If you're not using the default launcher, you will have to ask your launcher developer specifically about this, but both MultiMC and Lunar Client have developed their own patches, so you just have to close your game and restart the launcher. And if you play with mods such as Fabric or Forge, you must also download and install the latest version to stay safe. If you played Minecraft multiplayer after December 9th, I very much recommend you to go through all of your important accounts, such as Discord, email and bank accounts, change the passwords and enable two-factor authentication, just to be safe. Oh, and if you're running a Minecraft server, I just hope you aren't getting important security information from some random guy on YouTube, but if you are, read the Mojang announcement linked in the description, and also check out the information for your specific server software. 
And that's it. Hopefully, you are safe now. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you have any friends working on projects such as MultiMC, PaperMC, FabricForge and so on, I urge you to give them a huge thank you because they've been probably working without sleep for the past couple of days.